and welcome back to a very lovely at this point Cape Town but it will be a scorcher later on as no doubt you've seen in the news. Well with me right now is the chairperson of the National Council of uh, Provinces and that's uh, Ms. Tandi Mudise and uh, this is of course a joint sitting of the two houses of parliament tonight for the State of the Nation address and uh, Ms. Mudise thanks so much for coming through. Thank you very much. Good morning. And I just want to jump straight in with regard to the work of the National Council of Provinces. And I want to start with, you know, uh, taking Parliament to the people, because that's a very important aspect of the work that the legislature does. So how would you assess your work in this past year up to date? I would say that we took a program which we had started in 2004. We which generally went to provinces and listened to everything, to a point where we actually took this program into provinces and said, people of the province, you can still bring all your issues, but our issue with your province is this one. Which is what we did when we went to the Eastern Cape, education. When we went to the Free State, we said, your biggest problem is health tell us why and we are seeing why. Uh, how then we said we are going to look at why we are not delivering. Our desktop uh, analysis said issues of migration and, and therefore it has been a, a program which has not left its original form but has become issue and event. It has been enabled us to get down to where the rest of the year we can't get to give people space to hear what people are saying, to come back here and to sit on the executive to deliver. It's, it's a good program which I'm hoping will continue to be refreshed and be sharpened. One of the other things that I picked up on is that uh, this past year in particular, there was a huge upsurge in the number of questions uh, that were posed in the National Council of Provinces as well. What do you think has led to that? It is because um, when a house matures, when people begin to get their confidence in asking questions, then they use that. It is also because over the last five years, we have seen for the first time more ministers coming to participate in the debates in the NCOP, but also coming to take their questions on the floor of the NCOP. There is, of course, this notion that uh, the questions that are posed are very often not answered, and perhaps not answered to the satisfaction of those who pose the questions. But, you know, as the chairperson presiding over the House, what sort of discretion do you actually have in making sure that questions are sufficiently answered? The rules as they stand, they say you put a question, there is a response. When you are presiding, Sometimes you do not know enough about the subject matter, unlike the person who is posing the question and the person who is in the portfolio. But if it is very obvious that a minister, a member of the executive is evading the question, you chat them along. Or alternatively, if the person who put the question feels that they have not been answered or they have, they have a right to demand, in the, a follow-up question, a response from that, and nothing bars them from doing so. Now, uh, just before we end this, I want to talk about the budget, of course, again, for uh, SONA, because it is a joint sitting, and there will be two of these this year, given that it is an election year. Now, uh, the last time we had uh, two sittings, I think the budget was at around 9.2 million rand. This time around, for this one alone, the budget is 2.5 million. Um, I understand the actual expenditure to date is at 1.9 million. Do you think that all of this is really necessary in the context of a country that is struggling to kickstart its economy? Um, we have high um, unemployment rates and inequality is perhaps uh, at, at an unattainably high level for many other countries in the world. Do you think all this pomp and ceremony is ultimately necessary? Well, the pomp and ceremony that you will see today is members of parliament parading themselves, so that's their money, it has nothing to do with us. But we also expect people to be decently dressed when they come here, so people will wear whatever they want to wear. 
What we have over the years since 2014 been cutting down is make sure that the money goes where it wants. We want to divert our money into committee work. We want to divert our money into research in Parliament. So last year, SONA, we had budgeted 4.5, I think. We ended up actually not expanding it all. We ended up just going towards 1.9 million. This year around, we have budgeted 2.5. We are thinking that we will come down way below. We have cut down the supper because that supper, it was not just catering, it was booking at venues, it was bringing in um, musicians and artists, and you have to pay it, you have to accommodate. We have cut down on the number of um, um, beautifying the, this, especially Ruland Street and whatever. We've cut down on the invitees, especially for this sauna. If you, you will see that we have, we have not brought in the young guards, the young children. We have not brought up uh, the eminent people from the provinces. So we think we will spend way less on this current budget. We do so not only because we want to divert the funds into our own research, but when a country is in the grips of an economy that is sluggish, the first 400 citizens must be exemplary and that is why we cut that is why we say the funds must go to where they are most needed and that is why hopefully we will continue to whittle down and whittle down this budget well whittle down and whittle down i'm sure many of you like the sound of that and who knows we'll probably talk about that a little more later on in the day but uh, thank you so much uh, to uh, the chairperson of the national council of provinces which is uh, the other house here at parliament and that's tandy modise speaking to us about uh, the ceremony here today and of course uh, we can hand it back to auckland park but throughout the day stay with sabc because we'll be bringing you much more live right here from parliament Thank you.